All right, everyone, welcome to uh, the playoff edition of the Family Beatdown Fantasy Football Update Show. Hope everybody had a good time. So, uh, regular season is over. Week 13 uh, was the end of it. Um, <clears throat> we had quite a lot of jostling there at the, uh, at the end with a couple of teams falling out. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute and a couple of teams uh, clinching playoff berths. But uh, playoffs are upon us. Now, listen, you teams that didn't make it, don't go flushing your players uh, off your rosters or anything like that to, to uh, shake up the competitive balance. And also, you're going to have a kind of a consolation tournament going on. So over the next three weeks, while the playoff qualifiers um, are, are battling for the championship, there will still continue to be games and reason for you to set your roster and stay plugged in uh, all the way through week 16. So, uh, so uh, you know, keep, continue to pay attention. Um, it's just for fun at that point, but, um, you know, a way, to, a way to stay plugged in. So let's take a look uh, real quick. <clears throat> Smell this beat, show me them TDs, 136 to 126. It all came down to Monday night. Monday night, Rebecca had, if I recall, she had uh, Eli um, uh, Ahmad Bradshaw and Lawrence Tynes playing, and I had uh, Robert Griffin and the New York Giants defense and a 34-point lead. Wasn't, uh, was too much for, uh, for Rebecca to overcome, and she uh, falls 126, uh, 136 to 126 and doesn't qualify for the playoffs uh, for her first year, but still a very good year uh, for uh, for Rebecca, who finishes overall with a uh, five and eight uh, record. Uh, Gerard Invincibles um, knocked Beho records out of the playoffs. Way to go, Dad! One thirty six to one hundred four over Alex. Alex was sitting in number six spot, and now Alex is at number seven spot, outside looking in. Rednecks did win, pick up the big win, one sixty two to one forty six over Bear Six. Um, that, that cemented the number three position for Dawn. Uh, Mama Four Boldens continued her six-game slide. Uh, Blue and Gold uh, clinched the win 106-78. to An important win for Blue and Gold. That put him, put Jake into the playoffs. No, excuse me, it doesn't. It puts Jake at number eight. Um, and just beat Rebecca in the head-to-head -head matchup. Jake finishes at six and seven, number eight. Rebecca five and eight and number nine. Uh, Blood, Sweat, and Beer. Here's our big game. Blood, Sweat, and Beer knocked off the four, uh, the, the uh, heretofore unbeaten Mud Dogs uh, by the closest of margins, 158.8 to 155.9. Uh, Rick had a great pickup with Bryce Brown, but it wasn't enough. The 33.9 points weren't enough as Jason Wittens helps da uh, help Danny cement the victory over the old man, 158-155. Way to go, Danny. We knew Rick was not going to finish unbeaten. And Mighty Mullets, talk about margins of victory. This is 105.4 to 104.2 over the Decepticons. Now, Decepticons are sliding. They're winners, uh, losers of two in a row, but they were a top-ranked team, a number-two-ranked team in their division before uh, not, not that long ago. Mighty Mullets had to win had to win in order to cement the number six playoff spot, and uh, actually cemented the number five playoff spot. The number six are Decepticons. So if Decepticons would have won, would have had the number five position. So at any rate, the, uh, uh, the playoffs start next week, and in our matchups, uh, Rick, uh, Mud Dogs, and Smell This, me, get first round buys as winners of our respective divisions. Uh, Blood, Sweat, and Beer will take on Mighty Mullets, and um, the Rednecks will take on the Decepticons. So in the Mighty Mullets versus Blood, Sweat, and Beer, two seven and six teams. Ron Paper, it's one twenty three to one eleven in favor of Danny. Matthew Stafford versus Green Bay. Steve Smith against Atlanta. Stevon Ridley against Houston. Frank Gore against Miami. Jason Witten against Cincinnati. Tough defense this time for Tyson. Sam Bradford against Buffalo. Roddy White against Carolina. Ray Rice against Washington Redskins. And who else has he got? He got uh, who? D'Angelo Williams against Atlanta. I'm going to give the pick to I'm going to give the pick to Tyson because I don't like the um, the Matthew Stafford lineup um, against uh, against Green Bay. Um, Lions are, suff are struggling. Green Bay has uh, is in number one in that division. And besides, we all know how I feel about the Green Bay Packers. Let's take a look at our other playoff game, and that is, um, excuse me, that is uh, Rednecks versus Decepticons. This is Dan, uh, Dawn at 8-5 and five versus Jed at 6-7. and seven. It's 131-117 to in favor of Dawn right now. For Dawn, Andrew Luck against Tennessee, Mike Wallace against San Diego, Reggie Bush against San Francisco, and Adrian Peterson against Chicago. Tough matchup for him. For Decepticons, Tom Brady gets Houston. Tough matchup. Uh, who else? Marshawn Lynch against Arizona. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis against Dallas. 
Um, this is a real tough one in my mind, even though the 14, 18 point, uh, 15 point difference would suggest otherwise, I'm giving the pick to the Rednecks. Now let's take a look in our other games. Um, show me them TDs. We'll match up against Mama of Four Boldens, 5 and 80 versus 2 and 11. It's 143 to 70 in favor of Rebecca. Um, uh, Veronica still doesn't have a defense in there. Um, we're just going to give the win to, uh, to Rebecca. And in our other matchup, uh, Gerard Invincibles versus Bear Six, Grandpa versus Michael. On paper, it's 132 to 111 in favor of Grandpa. Good matchup with Aaron Rodgers against Detroit, Sean Green against Jacksonville, and Shane Vereen against Houston. I'm giving the pick to Grandpa. Let's take a look real quick at our league pick em. Uh, I'll tell you how I did in my picks overall and how I stand in the league. And before we do that, let me tell you that the Thursday night game this week is the Denver Broncos at the Oakland Raiders. Um, so adjust your rosters accordingly. And then we've got a full slate of games on Sunday. And then the Texans versus Patriots wrap it up next Monday night. In our league pick'em, I went 5-1 and one last week. Ha <laughs> ha, it's almost perfect. 5-1, and one. I stand 46-29 and 29 for the season. That's 61.3%. Uh, my D is going to turn into a C before it's all said and done. All right, so that's it. Playoffs start this week. Good luck to everybody. Get your lineup set. You've got your Thursday night game, which is your Broncos versus your Raiders. Uh, good luck. We'll see you next week. So long!